Hi and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner and we're, you know my daughter, Doris, and we're about to do, would you walk around there and make sure you can see both of us good, um, we're about to answer viewer messages, yay, okay, can you see us? Is it okay? All right, there you go. Okay. Hi, and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. I'm about to answer viewer messages. You know my daughter-in-law, Doris. And we have 23 of them, so here we go. All right, and this was a response from Shannon Greenwood. Oh, shout out to all our viewers. Shout out to our subscribers, and shout out to everybody. And it's how to cook two chickens in once in the rival roaster. And she said, seriously, we tune into these videos for instructions of how to do things that we may not know how to do. We do not see a wannabe comedy act. What a waste of time. You guys should take a stupid video down and start all over in a professional manner. People looking for how-to videos do not want to see people attempting to be funny. Thank you. Sharing Greenwood and um, it's still how to and we still like to be funny <laughs> So thank you and next is from Sabi one he said I thought it was a churro mix and that was how to do a churro mix and it was my first attempt at it So thank you and shout out to Sabi I and next is um how to cook two chickens and arrive a rival roaster from C Father. They should have taken this video when their meds were fresh in their system. Dear God, that's the worst one I saw. I just wanted to know how to get things crispy in the roaster. And uh, you can't get things crispy in the rival roaster when you bake it. Good try. Um, making a rub on top that will help it with the flavor but the rival roaster doesn't do crispy so but thank you and shout out for watching see father shout out and next is from marty oswald shout out marty oswald okay and this is the 2014 smart Okay, great video. Does this model have power steering? I have a 2011 limited edition smart Ford in green. 4-2. Four 4-2, two. Four two. okay, sorry. I love my car, but I really want a newer model. Thank you for showing the car. Now I know which one to get. Yes, that does have power steering. And a tip to all future smart owners, which everybody knows smart, is made and owned by Mercedes-Benz. All from what I was told the last time I was in contact with Mercedes that all smarts from this point on will not be gas powered there but they're going all electric they're all basically going to be plug-ins <laughs> so you'll have to you know if you want a gas powered smart you need to go to the Mercedes Benz dealer as soon as possible because last time I was there they were told they're all going to be electric plug-ins now so but yes it does have power steering on that particular model um that one came out the 14s came out with the power steering before them they weren't power steering they were the other engine i can't remember what it was but the newer smarts 2015 16 17 and 18s all as far as I know have power steering but to be sure when you look at a make and model when you're at Mercedes looking for your smart 4-2 or whichever model you want whether it's a Barabbas or whatever you need to ask them the questions and you'll know when you test drive it anyway because you know the difference in the steering and that one that I had for that day for free was real nice Okay, and thank you for the question, and we appreciate all of our viewers. We really do. Thanks for the question, Marty. Shout out. And here's Eric C. Shout out. Okay. Will my 80 by 60 mattress fit? 
I read that inner dimensions are 79.5 by 59.5, and I'm not sure if that will work. Yes, it will. The one that um, Doris and David has on that size, the foam mattress I get, the memory foam mattress, the ones I bought that's really thick, that was the dimensions, and I'm sure it fits well on your bed, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. That's the same dimensions where I purchased for their bed. You don't want it any smaller. You want a big mattress like that. So that way you're not bumping in. Because hitting that steel frame would be really painful. But that mattress will fit perfect on that frame. Thank you for the question and shout out. Eric C. Shout out. Next is Can Trust Me Go To. Shout out Can Trust Me Go To. I've got a smart 0 0.8 CDI diesel in the winter and the heater is rubbish. There is a built-in electric element for when the temperature is below a certain level, it is still rubbish. Once the temperature is up to normal running, the heater isn't bad. But if you get stuck in traffic, the heater starts to lose heat. Unless the engine is above 1000 RPMs in the water pump didn't pump hot water to the heater matrix overall though it is a good car very good on fuel okay can you trust me go to to be honest i've never seen a smart with diesel my 2013 smart 42 which was built in france like all smart cars are built in france mine was the regular fuel combustion engine it was regular gas and the Mercedes-Benz dealership in, called the Jacksonville Smart Center, which is actually in Orange Park, where they sell the smarts at the Mercedes-Benz dealership because they're owned by Mercedes-Benz, as we all know, sold all gas-powered ones, but they're going to all electric, and I didn't have any of those problems with the heaters. It might be a problem because you purchased the diesel model. I don't know, but what if I were you? If you're having that difficulty with your smart... I would go to Mercedes-Benz and talk to the smart specialty mechanic there because you might have a defective one. It might have to be replaced. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you right now, to be honest, with my smart car, the one I had, which you've seen in the video, it had so much air conditioning, I felt like I was in a wind tunnel like, phew, like I showed you, and the heat just burst out like that. And so I didn't have that difficulty because I had a gas powered. And mine would just burn up on it. And mine had a temperature control that could go up and down. So it would stick to that temperature and stay that way like I showed you in the heater. So I would do one of two things. It might be a problem just with the diesel smarts. Or go to your Mercedes dealership and um, have them check it out. I would. If you're having that difficulty with it because a smart car is a very good car and boy the heater in my car would burn you up if, <laughs> if I didn't have the temperature control yours might be an older model and I don't know because you didn't give the year detailed so you know but mine as you know I didn't have any trouble with mine it worked wonderful the air conditioning and the heat it was wonderful but I would have Mercedes check it out and, hey, keep me informed. Let me know how you make out. Can you trust me? Go to shout out. Thanks for the question. Appreciate it. Next is from OK Peace and how to remove stickers from furniture. Shout Hi, out OK, OK Peace. Peace. Okay. Thanks for the tip. I'm going to do it. Do it. No future furniture purchases. So that way I don't scratch my furniture. I never thought of it. Good idea. Thanks. Hi, OK Peace. And You're then, welcome, shout out. The next one is OK Peace, and this is Television Stand with David. Your TV looks little on that big, beautiful stand. Get yeah, it out and putting it together, <laughs> David. Well, you're welcome. Shout, shout out. And yes, it does, doesn't it? I never thought of that, but my TV does look like a, a itty bitty little BB TV on that big stand. <laughs> We're going to have to go buy a big one. And the next one, okay, peace. How to finish the TV stand with David. Pretty doors. Yeah, it is. Thank you, okay, peace. 